Welcome to Sailing Bucket List. We're Tom and Tracy. I'm Tracy. He's Tom. And we're retirees from St. Louis, Missouri. For a long, long time, we dreamed about being able to live on our sailboat. Now, this is the 24th month that we've, we have been able to do just that. In this YouTube channel, we're going to show you what it's like for us to live our dream. This is the latest episode. We hope you enjoy it. This is episode number six, entitled, Seven Reasons We Sail. Episode 6 is a bit different. Tracy and I are going to wax philosophic on what it is about living on a sailboat that we both find attractive. We hope you enjoy it. This is episode 6 of Sailing Bucket List. We're calling this episode, Seven Favorite Reasons We Love Living on a Sailboat. We're not going to make this as complicated as a Monopoly game with rules. We just want you to know why we like doing what we're doing. We've each spent some time, independent of each other, developing a list of seven reasons that we like doing what we're doing, and now we're going to share them one at a time. Would you? Uh, my my list is in order. Number the first one I'm going to give is the least important. Okay. Do you want to start with your first one? Sure. Well, my, my list is in no particular order. I'm just okay. listing seven reasons. All right, the first reason I have for loving, loving to live on a sailboat is beauty. What I like is every morning you can look out on your patio, i.e. your cockpit, and you can see a totally different vista. We can be up in the North Channel. We can be on the river system. We can be right here in Charlevoix. But the view you get from the cockpit you can get nowhere else. Okay. Beauty's a good one. I didn't think about that. My least important of the seven is I love the sight of the wind in the sails. I love the sound of the boat as it moves through the water. And I love the feel of the motion of the boat as it heals back and forth. Amen. Amen. Okay, my second I entitled Boat Cart. <laughs> That's a good one. It's a share. It's a it's a shared experience each afternoon when you come into sh into dock on the loop. We call these dock tail, the dock tails. But basically, you are interacting with some of the most interesting people on the planet, i.e., other sailors. And oh, by the way, you exchange boat cards. Has to do with people, right? Right. My number six has to do with people too, but a little different. My number six has to do with guests. I love to entertain family and friends on our boat. It's friends we've known for a long time, new friends that we just met. My very favorite thing to entertain on our boat is? Grandkids. Grandchildren, you got that right. Okay. All right, then my third, no particular order, is a challenge. Each day brings new challenges in weather, in navigation, in boat handling. Each time we go into a new dock, it, is, it can be and usually is a unique challenge. And it's been one of the things that makes it worth living. My third reason has to do a little bit with challenges. My fifth one is the one I'm gonna give next. My fifth one is minimalist. I love being a minimalist. If I'm a minimal, minimalist on this boat, I have six changes of clothes. Makes it very easy to decide what I'm gonna wear on any given day. If I'm a minimalist, which I am, there's not that much stuff on our boat. In just one or two hours, we can get the whole thing spick and span clean. You can't do that in a regular house. That's true, that's true. Okay, and so now my number four, uh, I call relationships. And it's rather, rather simple. Each day, we share decision-making and decision implementation. 
whether it's do we go or not, i.e. the Lake Michigan rule, where do we go, how do we go, and then once we start, we share duties at the helm. I think that's a very, for us, it's a very healthy relationship. It keeps it really interesting for both of us, especially me. Mm -hmm. All right, my next one, moving my way up my list, is freedom. Freedom. I love the freedom that we can go where we want, when we want, or we can stay put. Of course, within the constraints of our equipment and the weather. Amen. And then my next one is kind of like that, maybe, is independence. It's the idea of you know, as much as possible, living off the grid, when you're out at anchor or when you're sailing, you know, your your, your power consumption is what you have on the battery. You have so much fuel in your tanks. You have so much water. You have, uh, you know, so much waste. You're basically living on your boat and essentially you against Mother Nature. You against Mother Nature, or are you using Mother Nature, conversely. Yeah. yeah. That works too. You know, my number three is a little bit similar to that. My number three, I call problem solving. Mm -hmm. Problem solving. We face challenges all the time out here living on a boat against the elements and with equipment. Um, I love it when we face a challenge, and invariably we'll take a little bit of time to think about it and realize what our resources are, and pretty soon, one of us is going to say something like, oh, I have an idea, or I have a plan. Mm -hmm. I just love it when you say, I have a plan. <laughs> well, and you're all, all the time thinking of solutions to your problems we haven't thought of yet. <laughs> okay, uh, my next to last, I call family at home. When you go cruising on a sailboat, and this is really predicated on perhaps doing the loop, where you're you know, out 11 months or 12 months at going around the eastern U.S. But when you do that, you invariably come home, and I just have written, written, out, written down here that you always have something to discuss at Thanksgiving besides politics. <laughs> Stay away from that politics. Yeah. I like it. I like it. My second from the top is boaters. Boaters. We meet other boaters all the time, on the dock, on the water, on the radio. Um, other boaters are typically, they, they share a lot of qualities. They share, um, I wrote them down, it, they're typically intelligent, resourceful, friendly, industrious, and helpful to one another. Um, we'd be hard pressed, we could do it, but we'd be hard pressed to think of boaters that we've met along the, along the way over the last couple of decades that we have not liked. Well, I can think of a couple maybe in the North Channel, but... Uh, <laughs> I know exactly what you're thinking yeah, of. Yeah. All right, my last one I call sleep, dot, dot, dot. And what that is, is no matter where you are or in what situation you're in, my experience has been it's ne never better than on a boat. I would agree with that. My number one reason that I love living on this boat is you. You are my number one reason. I get to wake up every day and spend all day, every day, with my absolute favorite person in the world. Well, thank you. You can't beat that. I agree. So, with that, those are our top seven. And perhaps sometime in the future we might give a some reasons why it's not the best in the world. And closing out if you watch this uh, episode and if you have reasons pro or con of your own we would love to hear see them or hear them in the comments thanks for watching see you next week the sun is setting on another beautiful day at the lake and another episode of sailing bucket list is also complete feel free to hit like or subscribe if you've enjoyed what you see and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks for watching.